Finally, a more efficient solution for cutting metal, copper pipes, and electrical cables in place overhead. Introducing the 18-volt LXT Lithium-Ion Cordless Compact Bandsaw from Makita. At only 7.5 pounds, the XB P01 has up to 27% less weight than other competitive compact bandsaws. The Makita built motor delivers 630 feet per minute for faster, smoother cutting. The XP B01 is engineered for more work with up to 30% more runtime on a single charge. And the 2.5 inch cutting capacity is ideal for cutting conduit, unistrut, copper pipe, threaded rod, angle iron, channel, and more. The saw includes a blade wheel cover, which covers the blade outside the cutting area, making the saw suitable for appropriate one-handed operation. The built-in LED light illuminates the workpiece, and the toolless blade change system allows for fast blade installation and removal. The star on your LXT tool and battery means they're equipped with star protection computer controls technology that protects your battery and tool for optimum performance. LXT also has the fastest charge time in the category, powered by a fast charging LXT battery. It's part of Makita LXT, the world's largest 18 volt lithium ion cordless tool lineup. The Bosch 18-volt lithium-ion compact bandsaw. Most compact in class. Heavy-duty aluminum base. Two and a half inch cutting capacity. Quick and easy blade change. New Bosch Cool Pack batteries are designed to reduce heat buildup. These high-efficient battery packs stay cooler and live longer. Featuring an integrated fuel gauge and superior cold weather performance. Slim pack for lightweight or fat pack for maximum run time. Every battery works with every tool. Power to get it done. Tough as nails, never lets you down. The Bosch 18 volt lithium ion compact bandsaw. Bosch, invented for life. Hello, my name is Sean, and today we'll be discussing Grizzly's line of 14 inch wood cutting bandsaws. We will start with the famous G0555 bandsaw, which is an all-time favorite in 14-inch bandsaws. We have sold thousands of these across the U.S., and it continues to be an excellent performer today. Let's start with some basic information about this saw. The G0555 and the G055P are the same machine, with the only difference being in color. The P in the G055P stands for our Polar Bear series, which is white in color, while the G0555 is green and tan. This saw features a strong one horsepower motor that is wired for 110 to 20 single phase power. It comes pre-wired to 110 volts so you can pretty well plug it in your shop's 110 outlet and begin to use it. This is a two speed saw with the blade speeds being 1500 and 3000 feet per minute. Speed changes are derived using a step pulley and as you can see we use a serpentine belt which reduces vibration substantially. The blade capacity of the triple five is one eighth to three quarters of an inch and the blade length is 93 and a half inches. This is a standard length blade that you can buy from us as well as many other suppliers. We carry a variety of fine blades including Timberwolf blades that are made of Swedish steel. The cutting capacity and width is 13 and a half inches. Generally when you refer to a 14 inch bandsaw it is the distance from the blade to the saw's frame. The resaw capacity or how tall a board you can run through this saw is six inches. This particular saw also has an optional riser kit available that will give you additional 6 inches of resaw capacity for a total of 12. The kit's model number is H3051 and the kit includes a block, guard, and a longer blade. The wheels are made of aluminum and are computer balanced for a smooth operation. They also run on heavy duty ball bearings. This saw features a quick release system for changing out the blades. I'll show you how easy it is to change the blades on this machine. First. Disconnect the machine from the wall power outlet. Then all you have to do is flip this lever up, open the upper and lower wheel covers, remove the table insert, slide the blade out and replace it with the new one.
Line up the new blade on the two wheels and through the guides. Flip the quick release lever back down and the blade is tight again. Glide the upper wheels slowly by hand to make sure the blade is properly aligned on the wheels and the blade guides. Shut both the upper and lower doors. Replace the table insert. Plug the cord back into the outlet and you're back in business. Blade tension is adjusted using the knob on the top of the bandsaw. Right here. The saw also features a gauge that's calibrated for different blade widths. The quick release blade tension lever allows you to quickly release the blade tension when not in use to maximize blade life and then retension the blade again when needed. Blade tracking is quick and easy using the knob located on the back of the bandsaw. This saw features ball bearing blade guides with fine adjustments and these support the blade both where the cut is being made above the table as well as below. The body of the saw is made of solid cast iron and the stand made of heavy gauge steel. This helps dampen vibration. Watch how smoothly the saw is when I turn it on. The heavy duty table is made of cast iron and precision ground for smoothness and a great finish. The machine also comes complete with a miter gauge and a locking fence. A quick flip of the handle and the fence locks in place at the desired location. The fence also lifts off the table when not needed and has a magnified cursor for measurement. The table also tilts 45 degrees to the right and 10 degrees to the left. The floor to table height on this saw is a comfortable 43 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. And the shipping weight of this saw is approximately 198 pounds and comes to you nicely packed. In case you're going to pick this saw up at one of our locations, let's measure the case. 44 inches long by 21 inches wide by 20 inches high. Next we will go over the G0555X bandsaw. This is the G0555 with several upgrades and bells and whistles added. Let's go over the additions and improvements of this saw. The fence is cast iron instead of aluminum. A taller and removable resaw fence is included. This fence also allows you to get your guides real close to the workpiece when working on small items. The wheels are computer balanced cast iron instead of aluminum. A built in work light is also included. Table size has been increased to 20 and a half inches wide with a removable insert section in case you want to tilt the table to its maximum angle. Motor size has been increased to one and a half horsepower while still being 110 to 20 single phase power. Also included is a solid cabinet type steel stand with two shelves of inside storage. The overall shipping weight has been increased to 262 pounds compared to the 198 pounds of the 555. And the H3051 riser kit will also fit this model. Next we go over the top of the line 14 inch bandsaw. It is the G0457 industrial 14 inch resaw bandsaw. Let me point out some of the main features of this saw. It features a whopping 10 inches of resaw capacity. A heavy gauge steel reinforced frame to take the added blade tension. And a computer balanced cast iron wheels. A cast iron fence with large removable resaw fence. Heavy duty double ball bearing blade guides. Precision ground cast iron table that measures 19 and 3 quarters by 14 and 3 16 by 1 and a half inches. And it comes with a larger miter gauge and the blade speed is 3,000 feet per minute. The solid cabinet stand has a front opening door with storage shelves inside for extra blades and tools. A quick release blade tension and a heavy duty two horsepower motor that's pre-wired to 220 volts. And the packing measurements of this saw are 51 inches long by 23 inches wide by 14 and a half inches high. Now this measurement is for the main body of the saw only. The dimensions for the base box are 23 and a half inches long, 
20 and a half inches wide and 27 inches high. This saw is a real cherry. Now all the saws we featured here today are powder coated to ensure a scratch resistant and long lasting finish and all have four inch dust ports to hook your dust collection hose right up to. Hello, my name is Sean, and welcome back to our comparison of Grizzly's line of 17-inch wood cutting bandsaws. This is part two in our video series, and in this video we will be covering the G0513X2B, the G0513X2BF, the G0636X, and the G0636XB 17-inch wood cutting bandsaws. Let's start with the G0513X2B. This is a full-featured heavy-duty saw that has a strong two-horsepower motor and is wired for 220-volt single-phase power. It has a 12 inch resaw capacity and has the power and capability to resaw all day long. It is a two speed saw with the blade speeds being 1700 and 3500 feet per minute. Speed changes are derived with a step pulley. The range of blade width on the G0513X2B is 1 8 of an inch to 1 inch and the length is 131 and a half inches. Grizzly carries a full selection of blades for all our band saws. With the quick change blade release, blade changes are quick and easy. And I'll show you how easy it is to change the blade on this machine. First, disconnect the machine from the wall power outlet. Then all you have to do is flip this lever up on the back of the machine. Open the upper and lower wheel covers. Remove the table insert and table alignment pin and slide the blade off the wheels. Turn and slide out the groove cut in the side of the table. Here's how to get your new blade in and your saw up and running. First, slide the blade through the groove in the table. Line up the new blade on the two wheels and through the guides. Flip the quick release lever back down and the blade is tight again. Glide the upper wheel slowly by hand to make sure the blade is properly aligned on the wheels and the blade guides. Shut both the upper and lower doors. Replace the table insert and table alignment pin. It is important to note that the table alignment pin makes sure the workpiece does not catch on the slotted part of the table. Plug the cord back into the outlet and you're back in business. Also featured are double ball bearing blade guides with full enclosure protection. These bearings run cooler and are extremely wear resistant over standard guide blocks. The cutting capacity and width is 16 and a quarter inches. Generally when you refer to a 17 inch bandsaw it is close to the distance from the blade to the saw's frame. The wheels are made of cast iron and are computer balanced for smooth operation. They also run on heavy duty ball bearings. Blade tension is adjusted using the knob under the wheel cover. The quick release blade tension lever allows you to quickly relieve blade tension when not in use to maximize blade life and then quickly retension the blade again when needed. Blade tracking is quick and easy using the blade tracking window and the knob on the back of the bandsaw. The body of this bandsaw is made of heavy duty reinforced steel. This reduces weight without sacrificing rigidity. Watch how smooth the saw is when I turn it on. The heavy duty table is made of precision ground solid cast iron and has a gear to adjust tilt. The table tilts 45 degrees to the right 
and 5 degrees to the left. The machine comes complete with a heavy duty miner gauge and cast iron fence. The cast iron fence locks in place at the desired location with a quick flip of the handle. The fence also lifts off the table when not needed. The aluminum resaw fence is also included with this saw. This fence allows you to get your guides real close to the workpiece when working on small items. The table size is extra wide and increased to just over 23 inches wide. The table trunnions are upgraded to cast iron instead of steel. This saw is pre-wired to 220 volt and features an electronic motor brake that stops the blade quickly. Watch how fast this blade stops once I hit the stop button. One, two, three. Dual four inch dust ports allow for maximum dust collection. The floor to table height on this saw is a comfortable 37 and a half inches. The shipping weight of this saw is approximately 446 pounds and comes to you in a nice wood slate crate. In case you're picking this up at one of our three locations, let's measure it. 31 inches wide by 21 inches deep by 81 inches tall. Next we'll go over the G0513 X2 BF bandsaw. This saw has the same features as the previous G0513 X2B, but the motor brake is activated with a foot pedal micro switch. This allows the operator to have hands-free braking. It is still an electronic motor brake with a foot pedal simply activating the switch that triggers the braking. The shipping weight of this saw increases to 460 pounds from the 446 pounds of the G0513X2B. Now we'll move on to the G0636X. We designed this ultimate 17 inch bandsaw to compete directly against the high end European expensive models. After several years in development, we put together this amazing package that is a perfect blend of precision and muscle, with all the features and more of comparable saws. This saw has 5 horsepower of wood devouring power and is wired for 220 volts single phase electricity. It has a blade speed of 4500 feet per minute and a blade capacity of 1 8 to 1 and 3 8 of an inch. Blade length increases to 160 to 162 inches on this saw and features a blade tensioning indicator, tracking window, and quick change blade release tension lever. The cutting capacity and width is 16 and a half inches. The resaw capacity, or how tall a board you can run through this saw, is 16 inches. The table size has been increased to 25 and a half inches and is made of precision ground cast iron. The table trunnion is made of cast iron and has adjustable rack and pinion table tilt mechanism. This is an exclusive feature that lets you control table tilt as well as lock the table without holding on to it. The rack and pinion also acts as a heavy duty stabilizer for the table. The wheel covers are preformed hinged steel and the wheels are computer balanced heavy duty cast iron with rubber tires. Another important feature on this saw is the mechanical foot brake. When depressed, the brake disengages power and also acts as a mechanical brake against the wheel. This micro switch is what kills the power to the motor and as you can see the brake pad stops the wheel from turning. Other features include a magnetic switch with key lock and a 35 and a half inch floor to table height and a 78 and a half inch overall height and a 29 and a half by 23 and a half footprint. And for anyone looking for this saw with an electronic motor brake upgrade, we have provided the G0636XB. As soon as you depress the off button, the power to the motor cuts off and the brake activates. See how quickly it stops. This saw has received many industry awards including best new tool and has been described as a powerhouse outclassing and outcutting many more expensive saws. The cast iron wheels are massive, the bearing guides are robust, and the rack and pinion tilting table is fantastic. Everything that should be overbuilt is overbuilt. This is a saw that will be in your shop for a long time. The shipping weight of this saw is approximately 784 pounds and comes to you in a nice wood slate crate. In case you're picking this up at one of our three locations, let's measure it. 35 and a half inches wide by 27 inches deep by 88 and a half inches tall. All of the 17 inch bandsaws we've looked at today feature powdered coated paint to ensure a long-lasting, scratch-resistant finish. Are you interested in building a 60 square inch box with up to 12 inches of storage capacity? Of course you are! Today I'm going to show you how to make a bandsaw box using the Wen 2-speed 10-inch bandsaw with stand and work light. 
We will also briefly be employing the help of the Win 12 half inch thickness planer and the Win variable speed oscillating tool. I started off by looking up other people's designs for bandsaw boxes online. Everyone else online demonstrated such creativity and showmanship with their bandsaw boxes, I couldn't wait to get started making my own version. First, I had to make a block of wood to construct the bandsaw box from. Because the Win 2 speed 10 inch bandsaw has the ability to cut depths of up to 6 inches, I decided to make a 10 by 6 by 6 inch block of wood as my starting point. If this is the size that sounds right to you, then grab 4 2 by 6s to construct your own wooden block. Next, while donning your favorite business casual, plane off both faces of the boards so they are nice and flat. After that, glue the faces of the boards to one another with liberal amounts of glue to make sure the entire face gets covered. Finally, clamp the boards tightly to one another and leave them overnight to dry. Once the boards are nice and dry, use the wind bandsaw to cut the slab into 10 inch segments. Now you have a nice 6 by 6 by 10 inch block of wood to work with. Next, draw or glue on the design that you want to cut out. For me, I chose a design that would be next to impossible to mess up. After quickly messing up my design, I decided to revise my plans to something even easier. A half circle. A few things for beginners to consider. First and foremost, understand the relationship between the width of the blade and the turning radius of the saw. If you don't think your saw blade is turning sharp enough, then you may need a thinner blade. Once you have cut out the box, the next step is to cut a flat piece off the back. Set this piece aside, as you will need to be gluing it back on at a later point in time. After that, it's time to cut out your drawer. For mine, I chose to slice off the bottom of the slab in order to have easy access to cutting out my drawer. To make your drawer, cut out a solid piece from the center of the block. Perfect! Next, set aside the rest of your bandsaw box and cut off flat pieces from both the front and back of your drawer. Finally, cut the center out of the drawer to allow for room to put stuff. Now it's time to glue everything back together. You should have three pieces for your drawer. The front, the back, and the base. Go ahead and use wood glue and clamps to put these back together, leaving out the middle piece in order to leave room for stuff inside your drawer. After that, glue the other components of your bandsaw box together. Clamp them and leave them to dry separately from the inside drawer piece. Once the pieces have had time to dry, unclamp them and then see if your drawer fits. Odds are, it'll take a little sanding in order to get it the right size. I used the wind variable speed oscillating tool with a low grit sandpaper in order to remove the excess material. After a bit of sanding, the drawer should slide perfectly back into your bandsaw box. Finally, using the excess scrap, make a little handle for your drawer. Carve out the handle with the bandsaw and then glue it to the front of your bandsaw box. Look at that cute little guy. Once the handle has a chance to dry, your bandsaw box is complete. And there you have it. Now you have a place to store all of your hopes and dreams, and maybe even a deck of cards. So remember, when you need a simple woodworking project idea, remember when. Two years in the making. Introducing the 1412 from Laguna. Dynamically and electronically balanced cast iron wheels ensures vibration-free performance. The wheels are fitted with sealed bearings and covered by a single piece snap-on polyurethane tire. Laguna has long been famous for its pyramid spine, adding to the strength and rigidity of the 1412 frame. The ultra-smooth worm gear and pinion not only raises and lowers the blade guard, but is designed to stay within tolerances with no need for blade readjustments, even at its maximum extension. The quality aluminum high-low fence easily changes position. The trunnion is often overlooked in bandsaw designs. However, at Laguna, we believe it is one of the key components to a solid foundation where it all starts. The Laguna guides are engineered with no moving parts and 10 ceramic inserts for optimum blade performance. The table has a positive 45 degree tilt. An ingenious pivoting cap enables a negative seven degree tilt. The massive adjustable lower wheel shaft is another surprise the 1412 holds. 
To maximize the transfer of torque, we used a flat poly groove drive belt. The brush prevents dust buildup between the polyurethane wheel cover and the blade. The lit on and off switch indicates when there is power to the saw. The safety key can be removed to prevent unintended use. Blade changes are straightforward with the 1412. First, remove the throat plate. Release the tension, open the magnetic guard. Drop down the guard cover to open the lower door. Remove the table lock and carefully remove the blade. The optional wheel system is designed for ease of use with maximum stability and oil light bushings. The optional halogen work light is fully adjustable and emits a soft floodlight. The 1412 from Laguna. Hello, my name is Sean, and today we will be discussing Grizzly's line of 17-inch woodcutting bandsaws. Our 17-inch bandsaw series has received many industry acclaimed awards from tool tests in popular consumer magazines, as well as end-user reviews and compliments. Since we have eight models of 17-inch bandsaws, we will break up the videos into part one and part two, with four bandsaws each. This is part one in the 17-inch bandsaw video series, and will cover the G0513, the G0513P, the G0513X2, and the G0513X2F. We'll cover the second set of four 17-inch bandsaws in the Part 2 series coming soon. The G0513 and the G0513P are the same machine with the only difference being color. The P in the G0513P stands for our Polar Bear series, which is white in color, while the G0513 is green and tan. This is a full-featured saw with big cutting capacities. A strong 2 horsepower motor that is wired for 110 volt, 220 volt single phase power and a 12 inch resaw capacity. It comes pre-wired to 220 volts and has the power and capability to resaw all day long. It is a 2 speed saw with the blade speeds being 1700 and 3500 feet per minute. Speed changes are derived with a step pulley. The range of blade width on the G0513 is 1 8 to 1 inch and the length is 131 and a half inches. With a quick change release tensioner, the blade changes are quick and easy. Also featured are European style steel blade guides that run cooler and are extremely wear resistant compared with other guide blocks. The cutting capacity and width is 16 and a quarter inches. Generally, when you refer to a 17 inch bandsaw, it is close to the distance from the blade to the saw's frame. The resaw capacity, or how tall a board you can run through this saw, is 12 inches. The wheels are made of cast aluminum and are computer balanced for smooth operation. They also run on heavy duty ball bearings. Next I'll show you how easy it is to change the blade on this machine. First, disconnect the power from the wall power outlet. Then flip the blade tension lever up to the loosened position on the back of the saw. Open the upper and lower wheel covers. Remove the table insert and the alignment pin. Now you're ready to slide the blade off the wheels. Turn and slide out the groove cut in the side of the table. Here's how to get your new blade in and your saw up and running. First, slide the blade through the groove in the table. Line up the new blade on the two wheels and through the guides. Pull the quick release lever back down and the blade is tight again. Glide the upper wheel slowly by hand to make sure the blade is properly aligned on the wheels and the blade guides. Shut both upper and lower doors. Replace the table insert and table alignment pin. Plug the cord back into the wall outlet and you are back in business. Blade tension is adjusted using the knob under the wheel cover. The quick release blade tension lever also allows you to quickly relieve blade tension when not in use to maximize blade life and then quickly retension the blade again when needed. Blade tracking is quick and easy using the blade tracking window and knob on the back of the bandsaw. The Euro-style steel guides have full enclosure protection. The body of this saw is made of reinforced steel. This reduces weight without sacrificing rigidity. Watch how smooth the saw is when I turn it on. The 
The heavy duty table is made of precision ground solid cast iron and has a gear to adjust for tilt. The table tilts 45 degrees to the right and 10 degrees to the left. The machine comes complete with a heavy duty miter gauge and deluxe extruded aluminum fence. The fence locks in place at the desired location with a quick flip of the handle. The fence lifts off the table when not needed and has a magnified cursor for measurement. Dual 4 inch dust ports allow for maximum dust collection. The Florida table height on this saw is 37 and a half inches. The shipping weight of this saw is approximately 342 pounds and comes to you in a nice wood slate crate. In case you're picking this up at one of our three locations, let's measure it. 31 inches wide by 21 inches deep by 81 inches tall. Next we go over the G0513X2 bandsaw. This saw has the same features as the previous G0513 with several upgrades elevated to our prestigious Extreme Series. Here are the additions and improvements to this saw. The fence is cast iron instead of aluminum. An aluminum resaw fence is included with this saw while it is optional on the G0513. This fence allows you to get your guides real close to the workpiece when working on small items. The wheels are computer balanced cast iron instead of aluminum. The table side is extra wide and increased in size to just over 23 inches wide. The blade guides have double ball bearings that are usually found on machines costing much more. The table trunnions are upgraded to cast iron instead of steel. The overall shipping weight is now 418 pounds compared to the 342 pounds of the G0513. Next we go over the G0513X2F. This bandsaw has the same features as the previous G0513X2 but comes with a foot brake for stopping the blade quickly. The shipping weight on this saw increases to 434 pounds over the 418 pounds of the G0513X2. CSA certification is also available for this bandsaw model. All of the 17 inch bandsaws we looked at today feature powder coated paint to ensure a long lasting scratch resistant finish.